there, my name is Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet, and today on the program we're going to answer that age-old question. Is a high refresh rate monitor actually worth it? Do they do anything? Is there a value-added proposition of spending more money to get more hertz? Or can you spend the same amount of money, get a 4-inch bigger display that's also 4K for the same price, and with adaptive sync technology like FreeSync, which actually works on NVIDIA's uh, cards now too, you get the same sort of experience. Now, I have a computer on the left here. Uh, it's my Threadripper system with a Radeon 7, and it's locked at 144 hertz. And even though this is a 4K monitor, I have it running at uh, 1080p. And then on the right, I have a Zowie monitor, which is their uh, XL2536, which is a very high-end, uh, 144 hertz 1080p gaming monitor, but is four inches smaller and is only 1080p. Has a bunch of gamer features. We'll determine on whether those are uh, really worth it too. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about 144 hertz. Is it really worth it? I don't think so. And if I triggered you, let me know in the comments below. Reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! Right. You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Alright, so, uh, yes, we have the Asus MG28U, which has been on the market for a while. It's marketed as a gaming monitor, but it's uh, just a, basically, it's like one of the cheaper 4K monitors you can get. And it's 28 inches, and it is the exact same price as this uh, only 1080p monitor that has 144 hertz and is 4 inches smaller. And uh, I actually have had this Zowie monitor for a while, and uh, I, every time I plug it in and try and play some high refresh rate games or play online CSGO and really crank up the frames and stuff like that, I'm just fairly unimpressed, and I don't know if it's just me, and you can tell me if it's just me in the comments, but uh, does, it, does it even matter to have a 144 hertz monitor? And I do understand the proposition of better input lag. I believe this monitor does have better input lag, but rather than get into the specs of things, what I did here for myself was I hooked up both systems here side by side so I could play the games side by side. Whoops with FreeSync enabled on this uh, monitor here. It's bigger, yes, but I did lower the resolution to 1080p. They're running the exact same settings, and I wanted to, uh, you know, switch between them and get a feel for what the, you know, things are, are doing. So I've killed some Germans on both sides over here in Norway, and there's uh, some obvious color differences between the two monitors, and we'll talk about that in a second, but ultimately I just wanted to play them side by side. You know, they're, they're both the same amount of money. Which one do I want? Which one do I prefer? And every single freaking time, I would go with the Asus bigger monitor with a bigger screen resolution. And we'll talk about that in just a second. All right, I know it's a little bit flickery on this side. You'll have to forgive me. Uh, I'm trying to adjust my camera settings, but uh, you know this is the standard test that everyone uses to see you know the refresh rate and how it's working. And you can see here that the Alien is certainly mo a lot more clear, you know, at 144 hertz. And you know it's working. There's people that will want this feature, uh, but personally, I don't see you know the, the, this is blurry, but I don't see this difference in game. And I tried uh, Apex Legends. I, tried, I played on both monitors uh, for some time. I played uh, Battlefield and I played Counter Strike uh, Go on both. And I actually f always preferred this monitor at the same price because it gives me more real estate, obviously, both it, in Windows because it's a 4K monitor. I'm going to be able to fit more on the screen, but also it just it's bigger in general, so that makes it so it gives a more immersive experience. Where uh, this guy here less real estate and I just found that this the color on this is kind of washed out and after being very used to 4k images because I have a bigger actual BenQ monitor that's I really love it's a 32 inch 4k monitor when I sit down and look at this I just it, it really turns me off at uh, how I can see the pixels because you can when you're sitting this close to it but uh, you know without completely shitting on this monitor it does have some really cool features it has this uh, you know color profile selector which, uh, you know, you can pick 
you know, between your, you can make different profiles for different games or different profiles for Windows. And then, you know, you want to play your FPS, press this button. Uh, you can change inputs with this thing as well. If I did have something else hooked up, uh, and uh, you know, it's got a fairly standard box standard menu, but it has this black equalizer function, which actually, if you turn it up, you can see how it does increase the uh, you know the the brightness on the monitor a lot, which is not something I'm really a big fan of. I I really don't think I'd ever have this turned on past like maybe uh, eight eight or ten, so we'll set that. And then uh, there is this other function in here. There's also in here DYAC or dynamic accuracy. And when you turn that on, you know, to premium here, it's uh, smoothing things out a little bit uh, by adding a black frame every frame or something at the end of every frame, which does some, some sort of optical illusion thing where things just look blurry uh, unless you do this little trick. And that's what that's doing as far as I can read up on it. But it's not something that, you know, I, I, I couldn't live without. But, you know, it's a very nice monitor. I just, I don't know about it. So let's go ahead and talk about it over here. All right, so before we proceed, I just want to, you know, say... I have this alley monitor here and it looks to me like it's flickering a bit. I think that's just a high refresh rate. I could not get the, uh, uh, it, the settings on my camera to agree with this thing. So we'll try and make this quick, but, uh, this monitor is very nice. And for the price, it's definitely, you know, uh, built very well and it's, you know, worth it for the features that it has. And there's going to be a lot of you out there that want that high refresh rate. And this might be a way to go. It's got, uh, you know, swivel, tilt, up, down. It's got these flappies that make it so less distracting. It's actually got like a little red thing that comes out here, allows you to put your gaming headset on it. It's a USB 3.0 hub. It's got uh, DVI still on it and display port and two HDMIs. It's got this extra little remote at the bottom that, you know, lets you pick through three different color profiles or pick your input really fast which is very, very nice. It's got a microphone input and a headset output, so you can hook those directly in, uh, you know, uh, from, from the monitor. It's It's got the whole shebang here, but my whole argument here is I just spent, uh, I would say a good hour and a half playing Apex Legends with both monitors, uh, Battlefield 5 with both monitors, and Counter-Strike Go with both monitors. And every single time, I would rather have the Asus 28 inch 4K monitor. And that's, you know, even though they were both running the same, you know, uh, uh, resolution and frame rate, the, the, I couldn't get the Asus monitor performed much worse than this. They're both uh, actually a millisecond response time. So, you know, the input lag on them is virtually non-existent. So they're both very good gaming monitors for sure. Uh, but I'd much rather, you know, be able to have the option to hike up the resolution in my game to get a more clear image over the 144 hertz. I'd much rather have that extra screen real estate to edit videos in or, uh, you know, have that extra screen real estate, uh, you know, in the 28 inches to watch videos, YouTube videos and such. And I think a lot of you out there will agree with me, but I do want to ask that question to you. Have you had the experience uh, of playing on a high refresh rate monitor and did it wow you? Have you ever played you know, them side by side to try and figure out if it's worth it? Or am I just absolutely crazy for saying that the high refresh rate isn't something that I really think is a good value added proposition? Like, don't get me wrong, if I had all the money in the world for my computer and my monitor, sure, I'm gonna buy a 4K 144 hertz monitor every time. But when it comes down to it, uh, you know, a lot of people are looking for the value proposition and things and seeing, you know, if you have a little bit of extra money, is it worth getting 144 hertz monitor or a better video card? I say a better video card every time. Is it worth getting 144 hertz uh, or getting a bigger monitor that has more real estate and is uh, 4K? I'm going to pick the 4K bigger monitor every time. And I just, I don't really see the high refresh rate as a selling feature. And I want to thank Ben Q and Zowie for sending this over, but I'm not going to lie to you. When I plug this monitor in, I could never recommend it, unfortunately, because I just don't see why a high refresh rate monitor is better. And that Asus, what is it? The MG28U. 
I'd buy that every time over it. It's just, it's a much better monitor in my opinion because of the extra res uh, screen real estate and resolution and, and you know, it being 28 over 24 inches. I've gotten very used to uh, 4K at, with a, you know, a bigger bigger palette and everything like that. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. I would like to know uh, what are you, kind of monitor are you running? Do you just run some crappy old $100 monitor? Uh, do you not care what monitor you use? Or do you absolutely need to have a higher refresh rate monitor and you think I'm absolutely crazy for saying that I don't think that there's much of a difference? Because I'd like to know that. Maybe I just don't have a good enough eye for it. And if so, I'd like to know that so that, you know, I don't go talking bullshit. <laughs> So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. Let me know in the comments below whether you like high refresh rate monitors or you find that they are much better than uh, just a standard old 60 hertz monitor or an adaptive sync monitor like G-Sync or FreeSync. And we will have a little discussion in below, but uh, as for this monitor, a really hard time recommending it because unless you absolutely have to have 144 hertz because there are much better value propositions at the same price range and that 144 hertz isn't selling it for me so i'll see you guys in another video thank you very much for watching i hope i didn't just lose a bunch of subscribers because i say i can't tell the difference between 144 hertz and 60 is with a good video card backing it up <laughs>